December 30, 2017. We're on Seven Bridges Trail 622. It's always kind of fun to be hiking and then see the view from above the clouds. Look at that rainbow cloud. That is something. It was 18 degrees when I left the house this morning, but up here it's a must be in the 40s or 50s. So this part is new. This sign and this trail that goes off to the right. I don't remember this trail being here, this 667. Because the way we used to go was straight ahead this way. And clearly that's closed now. And then this looks new, this 667 going up that way and this sign explains the new system so this is at the saddle in Jones Park going back the way we came is 662A or 622A and that goes down to seven bridges. So this will be the new trail section right here. We saw some dirt bikes, uh, three dirt bikes just passed us by going in the other direction. This is, this was built to be a multi-use trail for hiking, biking, uh, dirt bikes. This trail cuts along the north slope of Mount Caneo and I would characterize it as a shortcut compared to the other the old trail that goes along Bear Creek there are lots of dips and ups and downs on this new trail and I figure that might have been on purpose to make it fun for mountain bikers and the uh, motorized dirt bikes here's the spot where this new trail cuts over into the other valley cuts back it feels like we're up higher than the old spot where it would cut over we're on the same slope that we were earlier today it's just that seven bridges trail is down below us in elevation and now we're in the saddle where the old trail would have uh, brought us up. And this section right here is the old trail. It's all camouflaged with these uh, fallen trees. But now we're back on the old trail. play in any amount of snow. Here's the saddle between Mount Buckhorn and Mays Peak. And here's another new sign for Trail 776. Today is March 24, 2018. We're back at the T up in Jones Park where this new uh, sign and trail closure is. My goal today though is to try this section of 667 and see what's up here because I want to ascertain if it's still possible to get up to um, uh, Loud's Cabin and uh, Mount Garfield. Okay so shortly after that T here's another branch. So there's 667 goes up to the left and that goes looks like that heads back towards uh, the south and then this one 622a closed to motor vehicles and it heads back towards Bear Creek let's see where this one goes So this trail does come to Bear Creek and crosses it. Here the new trail crosses the old trail. 
So they filled in the old trail, which was like a ditch. They filled it in with dirt and sticks and barricades in both directions. Around a bend, and lo and behold, this looks like Loud's Cabin. Loud's Cabin marks the beginning of the trail up to Mar Mount Garfield, so the answer to my question of the day is yes, I can still get up to Mount Garfield. High five. All right.